All right, guys, so here we go. Dragon Ball Legends just announced some pretty massive changes and updates coming to the game in the very near future. And in today's video, we're going to be breaking down exactly what this means and when we can expect it. So if you guys do enjoy the video, as always, make sure you guys simply just like and subscribe. But let's not waste any time, guys, because we have a lot to cover. OK, I'm actually quite, I'm actually very excited. Um, if you guys did not know, we typically get this newsletter um, towards part three or like in the middle of the anniversary as to what we can expect for after the anniversary. So really quick, let me just break down this newsletter very simply, okay? So it says here, upcoming updates for this year's summer update. So we can expect this this summer and beyond uh, the six year anniversary, which we'll discuss in just one bit. Um, it says, in addition to increase the speed at which consecutive re-upgrades are performed on equipments and new high difficulty PVE battles, which we'll break this down in just one bit, guys. Um, we're also planning to improve the stability of the application, which is very much needed after what we saw with all this maintenance um, in this very short few weeks, right? Um, also, the previously announced guild battle is also planned to be implemented at the time. It's been a long wait, but we thank you for your continued patience. With the summer update, we're also planning to update our development middleware, Unity, to a new version, and this will require downloading a significant amount of data. We apologize for the inconvenience this might cause. Further in the future, our management team is looking into implementing a major version update sometime after, and they say here, the 7th year anniversary but this is obviously a mistype i hope so um because you know it would make no sense so i think they meant the sixth anniversary pretty obviously and it goes on to say we are planning to continue rolling out large scale updates for legends so we sincerely hope you look forward to them as always blah 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 team management okay let's break this down guys <sighs> okay so i'm actually kind of excited so the first major thing here is new pve battles they didn't mention mode but i'm gonna just toss in mode here because yeah i mean we'll break this down okay so new pve battles um i'm excited for this but i've been around since day one to see that this typically does not work with whatever they have going on in terms of pve right now so let's break this down okay so what could this mean for the new and I'm doing quotations with my finger right now, game mode. They've tried this with full power battle. And full power battle, to be honest with you guys, is it wasn't that bad. But it's just at at the end of the day, it's just not it's just not fun. It, it really is not fun, right? Full power battle has mediocre rewards as well. So I think that's what makes it really not fun. It's just the rewards, right? Like, why would I play this? You could get some rewards, but in terms of rewards, I'm talking about crystals and yeah, stuff like that. Maybe even some LFZ power would be great to see in the rotation. But yeah, full power battle, I would consider even a flop, even though I kind of like it. It's so weird, right? But the, the rewards are such a flop. So when they say new PV, new high difficulty, excuse me, high difficulty PVE battles. Um, yeah, that's, that's what they labeled full power battle as. Um, also, we have the challenge battle, which is challenging, okay? Um, so, are they going to make it somehow harder than the challenge battle? Is this going to be a new game mode? Is this going to be implemented into something else? Such as the story mode has not been updated in terms of their hard and screen mode. So, maybe they're going to update that, right? That's another possibility. Um, but what I... The best case scenario here is a new game mode, right? Um, and at this point in time, I don't know what they could implement without it being this mediocre PVE they have going on right now, right? Like uh, just the bots and stuff like that. Maybe like conditions, they could add conditions, right? Like you can only bring in extreme characters into this battle, maybe something like that. Whatever it is, I do hope the game mode is good. And this is planned for the summertime. So we're technically already speaking in the summertime. So within the next month or two, we can expect this new high difficulty PVE battles. Not sure if it's a mode. Hopefully it's a mode. But yeah, we'll see. Now, guild versus guild. Guys, oof, it's been a long time coming, right? So we actually got data mines from guild versus guild, I think a month ago. Okay, so they've been 
trying to implement small updates in the back end from what it looks like. And we got this image right here, which shows TN and Krillin, and then it shows training items as well as crystals. So I'm not sure if we're gonna get crystals off of this. If we are gonna get crystals off of this, I am definitely gonna make a new guild versus a new guild for me, uh, because the, the the reason why and no, and no disrespect, I love my guild, but if it comes down to rewards and me trying to get the rewards, I'll have to try to make a new guild because the new guild I have right now is the YouTuber guild, but there's only like maybe like I would say at most ten active members, which is not gonna cut off. Yeah, and once again, this is if it's worthwhile, right? I don't like the how the guild versus guild is implemented, such as Tournament of Power. That's something I really don't like. So I might not, I might not even move my guild, honestly. But I'm in the same guild as Goresh, Rhyme Style, and you guys get the point, right? So that guild in itself only has like 10 active members. And yeah, that's that's not well we'll see what the rewards are and if it's worth my while i just do not like the, the whole tournament of power style that they implemented into this right we also got a whole bunch of other uh you know uh stuff here such as some, probably some titles and some in-game guild versus guild stuff we see the commies look out here so not quite sure what all this means but it is a leak right um also uh let's see here uh yeah so it all depends if the rewards are good i might make a guild but Okay, this is a big one here, guys. Increase the speed of re-upgrading equipment. Thank God. I I was just thinking about this. Why not? I, I'm an equipment hoarder. So like I like yesterday, I, I was spending at least an hour or two just upgrading all my equipment, taking advantage of the equipment mega bonanza, which by the way, it comes back on the 26th in two days. So not even sure why it why it ended. <laughs> so it is coming back in two days. But this was very much well needed. And while they're at that, just reshake the whole equipment um, awakening system as well to make it easier, faster somehow. I don't know. Uh, but this is a huge one. Re-upgrading equipment. Maybe just like, let's just say you can slide your thing to 30 times. And instead of just waiting to see, you know, 30 times. So maybe it can all pop up just at once to see if uh, you got your, you know, minimum requirements, either the gold slot or the red slot for the first slot. So that would be uh or whatever slot but that that would be something i would love to see and that's the only thing i can definitely see happening or maybe just like two times the speed but yeah it's really slow very much well needed great update another one here is a new update to the middleware unity so this is just an update to the unity um because they use unity but it's just pretty much a basic update here so uh to the middleware not much here and more stability to db legends application so this is pretty obvious, you know, all the stuff that's going on right now with the maintenance. So they're going to make it more stable. Also, more large scale updates coming to Legends after the sixth anniversary. They said the seventh anniversary, but I'm assuming they meant and it was a typo sixth anniversary. Um, so, yeah, more updates coming in the very near future. I do hope that down the line we do get some games original stuff with Shallot, Giblet, like a new game mode for them, like a mini RPG mode for them. I think that would be really, really awesome. Um, these are some concept artworks right here. But we are going to get the brand new free-to-play Giblet, which is the first dark type ever. So, yeah, maybe we're going to get something with Gab, uh, with uh, Giblet. Not Giblet. I'm so sorry. Giblet. Uh, that's the cor correct pronunciation. So, either Giblet or Shallot or maybe a Shallot fusion. So, we'll have to wait and see. But, yeah, guys, I am pretty excited for this update. Uh, pretty good changes and more changes up um, coming in the very near future as well. So, I'll make sure to keep you guys updated here. 24 7 everything dragon ball legends and if you guys did enjoy the video share this to your friends so they are up to date as well as if you guys you know want to like subscribe and comment and all that good stuff i would greatly appreciate it and yeah hopefully you guys have a blessed day have a good one peace